My name is Jacob Hepner. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I live in Kansas City, Kansas, and I have been to the CrossFit Games three times, 2014, 2015, and 2016. Uh, my latest placement was seventh, and using the title that CrossFit gives us that declares me as seventh fittest man in the world in 2016. So daily training for me, possibly one hour in the morning, um, three to four hours in the afternoon, and two to two and a half hours at night. So yeah, it's a lot of time. I am least looking forward to probably the free throw competition and any dribbling that's required along with it. <laughs> My wife and I, uh, extra training for this. My wife and I played basketball on our driveway a couple weeks ago and I got schooled and she kept telling me I was double dribbling and there was something else, double dribbling and some other foul thing she called me. I, I don't even know what it means. Yeah. So I have no, oh yeah, to answer your question, no, I did not do any training for this. I'm going to probably, I'm not probably, I'm going to lose the deadlift event. I might as well, not, I might as well just call my clean my deadlift and just chill out and peace out, call it quits. Um, the soccer event, I don't know how they're gonna judge that. They can kick it and run with the ball, I don't, I don't get that. Um, but uh, why I'm the best, um, well I think, from my aspect, uh, what CrossFit tries to do is try, in basic terms, we try to be mediocre at everything, right? If you're so specialized at something, you spend too much time doing one thing, you became really great at it, which is awesome, but the problem is you usually fail in other areas. So, in the CrossFit realm, we try to essentially be mediocre at everything. It sounds like super lame and super negative, but that's kind of the goal. Um, so. Well, right now, Lawrence is already in there drinking beer, so I'm trying to get him drunk before tomorrow, so he's terrible. <laughs> probably still won't help me, though. Probably still did lift more than me drunk. I think, I think Luis could win. I, I can't say myself. Yeah. It, it only makes sense. Yeah. Well, we're, we're trying to measure a bunch of different fitness domains, right? So we're looking at, looking at a heavy clean, um, which he'll have no problem winning. I'm pretty sure he can beat us all with his 80% or 70%. Um, Heavy deadlift, I don't think he'll win that, but if he can, if he can clean heavy, he can obviously deadlift it, right? Uh, makes sense. Um, I think he'll be able to move well in metabolic conditioning. He's a small guy. I've seen him play on bars and stuff and, and move around barbells, so he'll be fine in metabolic conditioning. Um, it really just comes down to the sport-related aspect, right? Um, how well can you dribble? How well can you kick a soccer ball? Which I'm terrible at, so I'm gonna give it to Luis. My name's Steve Gentili. I'm a power lifter in the 275-pound weight class. I think the event I'm looking forward to the most would probably be the deadlift. It's what uh, is more geared towards my sport, so I think I got the upper hand in that. My best deadlifting competition so far is 826 pounds. Uh, I've done more than that in the gym, but uh, in powerlifting we only like to utilize the numbers that we do in, in the comps. Uh, I think what I'm least looking forward to is kind of a tie between the CrossFit conditioning work, but also posing for the bodybuilding. I think that uh, those are going to be the two things that are most foreign to me and the way that I train the most. Mostly because I'm pale. I'm going against a Colombian and a black guy, and then Jacob's got a pretty healthy tan going for himself, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a little worried about it, not going to lie. I did not practice my pose downs. I think, to be honest, like I do a little, little work in the shower, but um, I, I had no mirror. I have no idea what I'm doing. I figured if I was going to do it horribly, that I might as well just make it a disaster rather than try to act like I know what I'm kind of doing. Go down to epic fail, you know. I think that um, all, of a, all of us have an equal amount of chance of winning. Um, if anything, I think I'm at a disadvantage. I, I'm the heaviest person here by at least 50 pounds. So some of the agility drills and more of the conditioning things are going to affect me a lot more. But I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I, I have zero chance at winning either. I think I'm going to hold my own on some of these events. I, I think I'll surprise a lot of people when it comes to the vert test, broad jump, and 40-yard dash. We had to do a lot of that in college, so those are drills I'm more familiar with. And also, I think, you know, the power clean, uh, Jacob and Luis have the upper hand, but I think I'm going to keep it closer than they think. I'm actually getting ready for a powerlifting competition in five weeks. So the overall goal coming out of this is not to get injured going into my meet. All right, so my name is Lawrence Ballinger. I'm a classic physique competitor and a super heavyweight bodybuilder slash fitness model. Um, 
I'm with bodybuilding.com. That's been a great opportunity for me. So I live in Chicago currently, and uh, my style of training is more like hypertrophy training, trying to get my body to look a certain way. Because of course, being a physique athlete, it's all about how you look more than how much you lift. So hopefully I'm a little bit of a hybrid and I can lift a little bit of weight. We'll see how that goes. We got some great competition in there, but you know, if I poison them with this food, since I'm the house mom today, and for some reason, no guy in here knows how to cook or clean or take a bath, but it's okay, you know? I'll teach them all how to do all that. So there's only two events I'm really, really looking forward to. It's definitely the event of how much can I eat? I think I could definitely dominate in that. And of course, physique competition, that's kind of like a given because none of them do that. So I feel like I'll definitely dominate in that. Okay, so two things I'm least looking forward to are by far the Olympic lifting because who the hell wants to do that? And then we have like a guy from the Olympics, like how I'm gonna beat some foreign dude from the Olympics. Super, super cool guy, but there's no way I'm gonna beat him in that. So I'm just gonna just let that one go. I'm gonna just try to pick up a few points and kind of walk away and with my head held kind of high. And then um, the other one I'm not really looking forward to is basketball. I hate playing basketball. Love watching, hate playing. So playing basketball, shot a basketball yesterday, first time in like 10 years, totally overshot the backboard, went like 90 feet. So if I do arms beforehand, see I'm thinking of like a little bit ahead of my uh, competitors. So if I'm like halfway weak, I got this. I'm the best person here just because bodybuilding encompasses a little bit of everything. You can't just train just heavy. You just can't do um, cardiovascular activities. You just can't do one style of training. It makes you train every different way for months on end. So yes, I might not be the strongest person, might not be the fastest, might have the most endurance, but I'm gonna be the most well-rounded. Everybody's played uh, like Mario Kart. Of course you choose Mario. He's like the all-star. He can do a little bit of everything great, so he always wins. My name is Luis Javier Mosquera Lozano. I have 22 years old. I'm from Colombia. I'm a Olympic medalist in the weight of weight. And thanks to God, I've also been a mundial many times. And here I'm, thanks to God, with a lot of hope to continue on. Bueno, yo entreno de lunes a, a sábados, lunes, martes y miércoles, doble jornada, eh, tres horas en la mañana, tres horas en la tarde, eh, intensidad lunes, martes y miércoles. Jueves entrenamos una vez al día y le, le bajamos a la carga. El viernes en la mañana entrenamos suave, pura técnica, velocidad, y en la tarde subimos al máximo, el viernes, y el sábado, Hacemos un entreno más también de descanso activo para empezar el lunes con el pie derecho. Bueno, los eventos que tengo próximos a hacer con mis compañeros eh, me gustan mucho casi todos. La verdad, lo único que, que me preocupa es el, deslip, el despegues, que es el peso muerto, que sí me preocupa un poco por la espalda, pero el resto creo que, que me va a ir bien y tengo muchas ganas de que llegue, más que todo la corrida de 50 metros, uh, el clean, me gustan muchos y el salto también, así que vamos a ver cómo nos va, espero que nos vaya bien en el nombre de Dios. No, la, eh, la verdad no entrené para estos eventos, pues. eh, estaba entrenando para un campeonato que, era el, que es el nacional, el clasificatorio del Panamericano, que es acá en Estados Unidos, Miami, así que pues me estaba preparando para eso y pues eso me sirvió para, para estos eventos, eh, gracias a Dios tengo una buena base de niño que, que hice atletismo, entonces eso tiene que ver con correr y, y con el salto, así que yo creo que me ha servido mucho también todo lo que hice de niño para estos eventos. Me preocupa la comida porque yo casi no como comida, <risa> casi no como, así que pues yo creo que es uno de los eventos que más perderé. Y el fisiculturismo también, soy muy flaco, o sea que no me toca nada en eso. <risa> la competencia está muy reñida, está muy buena, y cualquiera de los cuatro podemos ganar. No, 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 yo no soy el mejor, no soy el mejor. Eh. Todos somos los mejores y todos estamos aquí con un propósito de mejorar y, y de aprender y, y una experiencia más en, es, en nuestras vidas. Pero yo creería que soy malo para el ajedrez eh, y muy malo para el crossfit. <ríe> no tengo mucho cardio, así que, que yo creería que sería muy malo para eso, pero me gustaría practicarlo porque ya tengo el levantamiento de pesas, tengo la gimnasia, solamente me faltaría el cardio, que yo creería que es una de las más fáciles de aprender y de recuperar.
eh, pues sí me gustaría ganarme esta prueba. Espero en el nombre de Dios ganarme todo esto y, y tener una buena representación para Colombia, que es lo más importante. <laughs> Lawrence today, while I was dying on 5,000 feet of elevation and doing aerosol bike, burpees, kettlebell swings, and God knows what else, Lawrence sat there and watched me and ate a box of hot tamales, I think, some form of hot tamales, a bag of chips. I don't know what else. I, that's all I saw. I could have been in the middle of work. He could have ate another bag of chips for all I know. He ate a bag of gummy bears. A bag of gummy bears. A bag of gummy bears. There you go. Bag of gummy bears, hot tamales, and chips. He bought the donut from the kid. And a, and a donut. And I think he said he bought a Slurpee, too. To be honest, I think he literally said he bought a Slurpee in the car. I haven't seen anybody actually eat since we've been here. In all honesty, nobody's been eating. I've been the one eating gummy bears, sushi rolls, fried chicken. I know that's stereotypical, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been the only one eating. 